In order to solve Earth's population problem, humans of the 21st century devised a plan to colonize Mars. But before that, they have to kill all of the evolved monsters that occupies it. So you have been sent to Mars with other criminals to kill these creatures. The world's fate rests on your hands. What do you do against humanoid cockroaches that will kill you in any chance that they get? I'm going to explain the story, break down the mistakes made, what you should do and how to beat the bugs in the terraformers. The movie starts off with two characters hopelessly running away from an armada of cops but they are eventually surrounded by the man who seems like the antagonist of the story as he gets a keen interest in them. The movie then cuts off to them approaching Mars in a space shuttle two years later. They are met with other criminals who are roped into this mission as well. A kickboxer, an ex-cop, two Yakuza members, an illegal immigrant, the leader of a child prostitution ring, a hacker, a terrorist, and a psycho who likes sucking on fingers. <coughs> and some more. They enter Mars's atmosphere and they are ready to kill some cockroaches. So we cut to the guy who seems to be heading the operation making a deal with them. He asks them to go to Mars in exchange for their lives and they sign the contract. This is a mistake. I would ask all details about the mission and the logistics that we need before going all in. But our life is on the line and we have no choice but to take it. We are back on Mars and they are releasing cockroach insecticide all over the area. And it will take 3 hours for the insecticide to do the deed. Then they split up and pass to scout the area but this lady refuses to go with a Yakuza because she doesn't like him. This may look like an awful decision but this is actually really smart. Teaming up in pairs is the way to go while exploring uncharted territory as you can always count on the other and work as a team when something goes wrong. Having someone that you don't like or trust as your pair doesn't seem like a good idea. So she chose wisely. Yakuza to but in a mission such as this where loyalty, trust and friendship is very important, you should learn to adapt to your surroundings and get to know everyone. They set out to check if everything went as they planned it. The space shuttle which was sent by the Japanese government 10 years ago, Bugs 1, was discovered by their drone but it is badly damaged. As they venture out in Mars's wastelands, they come across something very strange. There are no dead cockroaches to be seen anywhere. And when they walk a few steps ahead, they are stunned to see what is on the other side of the rock. They are the cockroaches and they are massive with clubs at their disposal. They hide behind the rocks and we're back with Komachi and Nanao. They face the same situation, but this time there is only one ahead of them. It approaches them slowly. It zooms past him with incredible speed and breaks the neck of an anau. This is a big mistake when you're on another planet searching for cockroaches and a big creature which resembles a cockroach, maybe don't talk to it. What I would have done in this situation is that I would act dead and fall to the ground. It is a big gamble but I will tell you why this might work. The cockroaches have evolved according to their surroundings and all they have eaten in that period is moss. So they won't eat us as they have been evolved as a herbivore, one who only eats plants. They would think that we are just another uneatable object on moss. It is very risky but it is better than what they did. After breaking a neck, it runs off. The other two join them and says that another one has been killed and they should return to their spaceship. The captain explains that those monsters are the cockroaches that have gone through extreme evolution and they are called the terraformers. It seems that they are all going to die, but they do have one way to beat them. All the crew members have insect DNA fused with their own and they can use these powers to fight them. But there is a catch, if they use this power too much, they would die. They want to return to Earth but the bugs approach them. The terrorist goes out to fight this bug alone. He injects the drug in him and we get to see their powers for the first time. And his insect is the Mydera beetle. His power is that he can produce huge flames. They fight it out epic style in melee combat. He finishes off with a flame blast and it seems like everything is over. But it gets back up and kills him with one punch. This 
was a good decision. Sending him was the best decision that they could have done. Because when you don't know what you're up against and with powers you have never used before, I would send one person in as a guinea pig to test out our powers and to gain information about the bugs. So his death wasn't in vain. Two people's heads off. The captain wants to fight it and his insect is the paraponera, bullet ant. He smashes the roach's head to the ground. They think they can beat them, but their hopes are completely destroyed as they see hundreds of them surrounding their shuttle. They argue about why the roaches want to kill them, but their argument is interrupted. It seems that they can't take off and their ship is not responding. Their only way to escape is to take the system from Bugs 1 and come back to Bugs 2 and use it to take off but they are completely surrounded. The captain and the hacker stay back as everyone planned to escape. When Komachi goes to check back on Nanao, he sees some sort of web coming out of her mouth. They enter the vehicle and it's time for the psycho to shine. His insect is Stenine McClay. He can produce a gas that can make him move at the speed of 945 km per hour. With the help of that, they can escape the horde of cockroaches. The captain and the hacker fight the endless waves of monsters and they realize that they can't go on forever. So they seal the space shuttle and remove the oxygen as they take their last stand. Komochi and his team are on their way to Bugs 1 while they encounter something that looks like a wave but it is something far worse. It is a wave of roaches. They decide to drive through it and they get through it barely. Another wave comes up and it is much larger than the first one. The psycho is badly hit. So the women use their insect powers which happens to be insects with strong exoskeleton. They act as a shield and take all the hits but as they come out of the wave, all of them are unconscious. The vehicle turns to driverless mode and the three people are left behind to die. This was a huge mistake. What they should have done is drive around the first wave so that they won't even have to encounter the second wave and evade the first wave too. The ground looks flat and there are no mountains to be found. So driving around the wave is the best choice. It may take them more time to do but they could have saved three of their crew. They arrive at Bugs 1 with a strange drone following them. The three of them investigate inside while the Yakuza's stay outside. While the three of them are checking everything, they hear gunshots outside. They rush outside to see what has happened and they see the Yakuza being shot to death. They have made two mistakes here. One is that they split up. This always goes bad and never works. The other one is that they didn't scout properly. In situations like these, you should always be aware of your surroundings and move in groups. The roaches near Bugs 1 have evolved so much that they can use guns with ease. A roach is keeping an eye on them from a distance and it is talking with the boss. This is really strange. Maybe the answer to this will be explained later. All three of them inject the drug to use their powers. Their insects are the praying mantis, Japanese giant hornet, strongest of them all, and a bug that can jump really high and fast. Now a badass montage of them killing loads of roaches. Back on the space shuttle, oxygen starts refilling. This is done by the roach that was talking to the boss. Komachi and his team have killed everything in their vicinity. When the mist around them dies down, they see a lot of pyramids and they are very confused. Back on the space shuttle, the roach points the gun at the captain. The cockroach's head is sliced open and inside it was the girl who was considered dead by everyone. But her insect has the power to control cockroaches. So she used it to escape them. 
she kills the captain and pours water on Ichiro, the hacker, and he comes back alive. His insect has the power to not die. It just becomes hard as a rock and when it comes in contact with water, it comes back alive. Komachi hears the starting of bugs too and they are confused. The drone that was following them comes near them. The boss starts talking to them through the drone and he reveals that they both were under his control and was not actually dead. Their plan was to get a cockroach egg back to study their evolution pattern to destroy them, colonize Mars and make the perfect insect-human hybrid and that these guys were sent as guinea pigs to get data about the cockroaches and they were to die on Mars. This was a suicide mission all along. Bugs 2 starts to take off, but something very bad happens. The egg starts to hatch. This was not supposed to happen, so she uses her power to control these cockroaches. It doesn't work on them. They have evolved so much that this won't work on them. They kill her. The shuttle takes off. They call out to other cockroaches and the other cockroaches come to their rescue. They fly to the shuttle and destroys it, making it fall safely on Mars. It comes near to Komachi and his team as they run away from it. The evolved cockroaches have become their leader. This is really bad. Now they can also fly, making it really hard to defeat them. Even the boss didn't expect this to happen. Their only plan is to use the escape pod to go back to Earth. But an army of roaches are in their way. There is only one move that they can do. It is to defeat them all. They decimate the roaches one by one. Now they have to face the leaders themselves. They are faster, stronger and they fight like humans. The mantis tries to fight one of them but is immediately killed. They inject the drug once more to become even stronger. They kill everyone that comes in their way but it is not strong enough. So the kickboxer takes another shot and gains the ability to fly. He kills roaches mid air but he can't take it. It took a massive toll on his body too but that doesn't stop him. He takes shot after shot after shot. Now he has gone to the point of no return. He can't become his human self anymore. But he has a lot of power. He goes to finish off one of the leaders and he chops off its head. All the roaches become surprised and furious. He can't take He says that he did it for Komachi and has nothing to live for. Komachi, filled with anger, attacks the leader but is stopped. It breaks his stingers and comes to finish him off but stops mid-punch as it sees something. Something angelic flies and comes towards them in the sky. Everyone stops and stares at it. It's Nanao. We have previously seen thread coming out of her mouth. She has become a silk moth. She spreads dust all over the area. She is going to blow herself up. Komachi flies to save her but she is already dead. The leader shoots it, making a huge explosion which is going to kill everyone but Komachi is saved in the nick of time by the kickboxer. The explosion kills all the cockroaches and the impact spills water on Ichiro. Komachi and him fall to the ground. Komachi looks around and he finds out where his friend is. He has fully transformed to an insect. Komachi and the kickboxer have a very emotional conversation as he speaks his final words before his death. Back on the space shuttle, Ichiro is faced against a cockroach which wakes up to kill him. Ichiro is reminded of his very emotional past. He remembers that he has to live on for the sake of his family. He has to protect them and needs the money. He kills it. At the same time, Komachi, filled with vengeance, faces off against the leader. He punches it as it falls to the ground. But he leaves it to live as he sees a bit of his human side in it. He enters the space shuttle that is filled with corpses. He goes to the escape pod but he is met with Ichiro. He points a gun at Komachi but Komachi approaches him anyway. Ichiro shoots, not at Komachi but the cockroach behind him. He tells that they have work to do and they can finish their fight back on Earth. They enter the escape pod and launch to Earth. The roaches start to fly but is stopped by their leader. The leader lets them go back. Back on Earth, everything that happened on Mars is being broadcasted by bugs. The boss says that this was a loss, he will lay low somewhere and will sell the information to a multinational company, betraying the Japanese government. He knows that the Japanese government will blame him for what has happened and play innocent. 
His assistant points the gun at him. She was a government agent all along and she is going to kill him and blame it on him and tell the other countries that he killed himself due to guilt. She shoots him but the bullet stops mid-air. He says that scientists are always cautious and then he poisons her. Komachi and Ichiro are on their way to Earth not knowing something far worse is waiting for them back on Earth. But there is only one thing on Komachi's mind. He is going to return to Mars and finish what he started. So what did you think? What would you do in a situation such as this? And if you would do something else than what I have done, leave it in the comments down below. And if you want more of this type of content, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. You can always unsubscribe if you want to and it is free. So I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, have a great time. Have a great time. Thank you for watching.